Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Astro Circuit Season 6, Midweek Number 1. I'm Lock Dog, joined by Mike Star, and this is going into the semifinals between Relapse and Sway AU. It's going to be domination on Sovereign, and this should be an extremely close game. Mike Star, what are your predictions? I am hoping for, a, for definitely a close game here. I mean, we, we have skipped to the semi-finals of this competition for those who were following the bracket, of course, due to a uh, forfeit that did happen in round three. So we're down into the semis already, and uh, only technically five teams remain, as one team still hasn't made it up here yet. So we're down to the final stages of this midweek. Winners go to top two. Losers have to play that third place tiebreaker match. We're on board with Lakey so far, and... Uh, he dies, which is always a great start, but we'll swap on over to the Sway team. Of course, that is Dread Flying, Vert, and TKO, and of course, for the team of Relapse, that is Infuse, Lakey, Foshi, and Tuju. Right here, Vert on your screen, he's going to drop. you got Flying here over on, yep, he's dead too. So, uh, Dr Dreads, just dead as I swap on over to him. That is okay, because uh, Lockdog's going to start picking the people from now on. Yeah, hopefully I can uh, get someone that is not dead. It's uh, going to be a difficult task, but we're going with Infuse. He's the only one alive on his team, and he's going to pick up one. Can he pick up the Ooh. second? He doesn't actually get that one. He will get taken down, and the uh, tags that he got just uh, not quite coming through. There, we'll jump on board with Tuju. UT, we'll see if he can get a couple of kills. He's going to try and push up towards this B flag. Currently neutralized, 25 to 19 is the score. And looks like that B capture is going to be pretty easy, but no, he gets taken down. Foshi now trying to get this nade across towards the B bomb site, uh, B flag site, sorry, as he does get stuns. Does see a foot come through the uh, railing there. Easy kill for him there. Contested at the moment. Turns around, gets the kill, and that's a three down and sway up to TKO to try and get this one, but he was coming off spawn as well. So it just looks like the team of Relapse, they've uh, got into a little bit of control of this B flag, got a little bit of control of the map, and currently with that six-point lead, they're just looking to uh, build on it. That they are. We'll see if they'll be able to actually do so now. Lakey on your screens once again. He's only on this top uh, B side, but he's actually rotating around to yellow platform. No, he's going to go back. He's feeling like he just wants to check everywhere for the moment. As Sway will take down uh, one, and Tuji will take down... Uh, Dread. Keep saying Sway as I'm used to the, the, the clan tag being at the front. But uh, regardless, we are seeing Lakey go on uh, down over into his B. So he's going to try and get this catch up, but he won't be able to get the player that does just jump on his head and takes him down. Now Foshi is getting one kill. His teammate gets another. He's looking for the third, but he gets taken down. Yeah, he does. Now Lake, he's trying to get a couple of kills here. He does see one. He will pick up the assist. He'll get taken down from long range. Foshi now just looking yet again into mid. Foshi, Infuse, and Tuju all getting kills. And now it's at the fly in. He is currently up this uh, top right side going into the map room. Maybe going to try and rotate around to A, and that's exactly what he's going to do. As it looks like he's just gone behind enemy lines and able to pick up this A capture pretty easily. Uh, he, well, he should be able to. Is there's no one really going to contest him. There's going to be a player coming around the back. He's going to be too late, though. He's got to turn around now. He sees him, but he doesn't get the kill. So, flying, not able to uh, get that one. Vert now last alive on his team. His team spawns around him. They were able to capture that A flag. They're losing C now. They've lost A for sure. And they need to capture that one back up because that, for a second there, they were two flags to zero down. And that's not where you want to be. It definitely isn't. I mean, Sway right here. Yeah, sorry, TKO Sway. The Sway team in general, they they don't, uh, you know, they don't have the flags that they really want to be having at the moment. They're trying to make something happen here over on this B side, and you know, you do see a couple of them drop, but they were able to get it in the end. And flying now is going to be rotating around through caution. His teammate will take out the player there. No one's really going to be on that side of the map as of yet. One's actually coming through Zig now. Now, they do manage to keep control of that C flag, which is a great thing for them, and to still hold this B flag control. So they're trying to catch up only eight points behind. With 35 seconds remaining in the half, if they hold it, they'll be able to tie back up, maybe take a little bit of a lead as well, and then come into this uh, domin uh, into the second half of the domination, more of an uh, even playing field. That being said, both these teams so far I've had their ups and downs, and it's all about who's going to remain consistent throughout the uh, the remainder of this map. Yeah, that's right. It's not not a lot in between these teams. Lion will just rotate back around, capture that C flag, and two flags 
2-1 in favour of the team Sway to end it out here unless these flags are going to get changed hands. Yes it is, two flags to one now in favour of Sway and some long shots coming out of TKO, he'll get taken down by the barrel. Exploding right next to him, 76 to 76, the half is tied and the second half is going to decide who will be able to take out this first map and go 1-0 up in this series. I'm uh... Series isn't 1 0 yet, it's still the second half to go. As I had to take a moment to pause and think about that one. Putting me on my toes there, Lock Dog. Regardless, uh, second half, 5 minutes, 76 76. Don't know, can't pick anyone. I really can't. I've been, I've been wanting to, but I just can't. And, uh, spurt. Spurt for the Sway team, oh. taking out that first go over on the beat up. Well, we've had a draw first half. Are we going to see uh, another draw like the like the Blitzers, or are these teams actually going to sort out a result and uh, get on to the next map a little bit quicker? At the moment, the uh, team of Sway, they've been able to get the uh, early advantage, but that can all change if uh, a couple of kills go down in favour of the team of Relapse. We're going to be seeing it flying here, just watching over through bottom snake. Players going to contest, and there you go, we'll be able to pick off that kill. Now, you mentioned about the draw happening in Domination. Now, it is obviously a lot harder to do so in a Domination, but it is still possible, and it, it does still happen. If it does happen, then, well, you know, it could be uh, in for a great game for this series if it starts off like that in map number one, but... I definitely don't see it happening as of yet. Regardless, we have two flags in the control of Sway right here as they are just pushing away a little bit here in terms of points. You got Lakey, last one up for his team as his team got slaughtered as they made their way over to this B side. He will be able to pick off one kill as he'll push on down. B flag starting to be captured by him, but one player is going to be over on 10 trying to just make those... Uh, try I thought he was going to make a couple of shots in, but all he did was really sprint into his bullets. Yeah, he did. He uh, just wasn't able to get that kill, and uh, it's going to be up to Infuse now. He's on that B flag, and he does pick up the kill nicely there. Picks up a second for himself there on Dread, and looking for a third down bottom, but no one there for the taking as he uh, doesn't does get taken down. But now two flags in advantage of the team of Relapse. They're going to be able to uh, start getting that lead back under control as there only is a six-point difference, so it's still... Very, very close between these two teams as Lakey pushes in. He'll pick up one, can't pick up the second as they do try and push up hard and control this A-flag area. But it looks like one of the players from the team for Sway will be TKO, who's been able to uh, just get around the back, capture that C-flag, go for the split cap, and now they should be able to uh, force a B-A or a B-C uh, uh, swap. We've got Lakey taking out a kill over on the seaside. Now, of course, he doesn't have his team doesn't have any flags at the moment, so he will start this capture going strong, but he will get taken down. You're going to be seeing Tuju now over on this A-side flag. Nade's going to be going out. He stuns himself, which is never a great start, but he won't be contested over here, so we'll swap over to someone else that could be in a little bit more action. We'll see which players that is. Your Foshi rotating over to the B-flag now, and from having zero flags, they've now got two, which is a great effort, keeping in mind. That there is two minutes to go though, 125 to 111. You really don't want to be in a situation like that again, and hopefully they'll be able to maintain this two-flag advantage. Yeah, that's right. That's what you want to. Uh, that's what you want to do. But the moment flying, he's going to go and try and capture this A flag. There's going to be a couple of players coming to contest him. Is he going to see him? He sees one. He sees an aide come in, and he doesn't. Not able to dodge it. As actually, Tuju took out his teammate as well with that one. He'll be able to capture that uh, A flag, the B flag is under their control as well, they are down by that 10 points but 2 flag advantage definitely in their favour at the moment, if they can keep that then they should be able to uh, get back in the lead of this one because there's still a minute 30 left to go as Lakey does go up, contests 1, 2 and there we go, just uh, easy for him to be able to just jump up get 2 and now he's got a 3rd to his name in this streak and Lakey just uh, saving his team there from just getting even further behind at the moment. They're only five points behind. They can definitely still catch up with one minute and five seconds left to play. We've got Lakey rotating over to this A flag. Now he's got his teammate with him. One player is going to be there. 
to try and get that flag captured, but he'll get instantly annihilated. There's another one on the yellow platform there, and he will get dropped as well. So three players from Sway do get taken down. You see the score being within two points, so that draw might be closer than you think, Lockdog for things to uh, to happen there, but they're still going to be contesting over this B side. You're going to be having Fly uh, get taken and down as Tuju and Lakey also drop as well as TKO now. We're pushing on over to this B side. The B flag will get captured there by the Sway team as they try to get these uh, kills and they're just narrowly holding over to this lead. He, three of their players drop though. This could be the uh, the makings of a tie that you're talking about. Regardless, shots out from Caution. Those players will drop as well as you're going to be over the C flag. Sway, they're pushing out. They're trying to contest over on to this B flag. They got to make this moment now. They're going to at least get that neutralization. Oh, 148 to 148. It could go either way here. It should be able to swap it over once, but it is going to be contested right here. 151 to 150. That is it. Now take the game by a one point, point. lead sway. Point. Just wow. That was, uh, that was some ridiculous gameplay there. I thought the B flag might get contested there by the team of relapsed sway. Just holding One on, point. 151 to 150, they take it out, and it was equal at half time. It was 76 to 76, that's why I called the draw, and jeez, it almost happened. That would have been, uh, that would have been amazing. It, uh, it really would have been. I, I, that's, that's all I can say at the end of that. That's how just good it was, that it was, uh, it was an incredibly close game. It goes now 1-0. to zero. Sway take the lead here. They're going to be going into S&D Freight up next. And I don't know, both these two teams, we've seen their players individually play throughout a couple of times. We've seen Sway play as a team before as well. But we had uh, we had the team of Relapse. I mean, they got quite a nice couple of kills there. Lakey had 29 kills to his name as well. Will they be able to come back in this, uh, this search and destroy? Well, you can't be... Uh... Can't be counting them out when they uh, go that close to getting the win there in that one because uh, a one-point difference in domination is just uh, it's just ridiculous at this point. And uh, going into the search and destroy, could uh, you could easily tip a map eleven because uh, a map, ramp, 11, map eleven, yeah. map eleven uh, could yeah. be adding imaginary maps from a best of three to a best I'm of just, eleven. I'm just going. No, we'll make it. We're gonna make it a little best of eleven. Yeah, yeah. we do. Don't, don't even no worry. No worries. About, Let's yeah. go. Now, yeah, uh, round eleven, not out of the question because both these teams just so close, and you you really can't split them. And I know, uh, I know, I got into you about not being able to pick a winner for the next map, but I just don't think you can with these two teams being so close. I mean, yeah, I know, right? It's it's just that good uh, of a game so far here, and I accidentally have the wrong overlay on. That is. Uh, my bad, but I do seem to have saved over the wrong thing. That is awesome. I love when I do that's that. That's some. That's some good. We're going good back stuff, to this overlay. Then. We're going back to. We're going back to this one. Okay. That's what happens when we we don't go to any breaks. We've cut the breaks and we've lost all our uh, our minds here in uh in this one. As I'm trying trying to figure out what I did actually overlap on, and there we go. No more sovereign. Come to freight. We have the map. Let's not save over the in-game overlay this time, and we are going to be good to go. I think that is a definitely a uh, a safe thing to try and achieve. And, of course, redoing the overlay once again. So I do apologize for the blunders here on production. I've done quite a few today. This is not uh, like, like my normal standard. That's very, very scary. But um, also, 1-0. SD Freight. But before we get to that, I just wanted to point out we are looking for new Call of Duty administrators to join the ranks. If you are interested, feel free to go to the staff application system on au.cybergamer.com and express your interest via that. But uh, my time is up. Back into the game we go. Yeah, we'll jump on board with the attacking team. As usual, we'll jump on Sway and we'll see what flying can do. He's that bomb. And there's a player underground and uh, TKO will be able to pick that up. Fly flying. I didn't actually see Vert go in front of him, but he managed to uh, get the team kill and not really an ideal start for him because he's already in a 1v3 situation. He's got to go big. He does have the bomb, but everything else is against him. Yeah, and I mean, as they push on uh, down over onto B, he dies very, very, very quickly. 
and um, you're going to be seeing Infuse with the scope picking him off. And someone in the chat was saying they aren't too good at S and D either. So this could be a uh, a big difference for uh, these two teams. I mean, we already saw a convincing first uh, first. I'm just looking at the score, but I'm seeing three kills, but there's four players on the team. What did I miss? Uh, you missed a team kill. Oh, there. okay. That was, that was... Yeah, it was, it was a nice little one by Fly, and he managed to shoot bullets backwards out of his gun and uh, kill his teammate, Vert. So that was a little bit interesting to see on That's the ground, awesome. but uh, it, it happened, and uh, I'm not sure I'm not sure Vert was too happy about it, but Fly and, uh, definitely probably wasn't either. And uh, we'll see whether the team of Relapse can go 2-0 up in terms of rounds because they've already got the first kill in the second one. They got the first round pretty convincingly and we'll see what they can do. We'll jump on board with Foshi. He's got the bomb. See if we can get this one down. Going to be pushing on up over onto this A side. Now we start this bomb plant maybe. There we go. Now he will, but a player will be rotating up to the top of red to try and contest that. And there you go. He gets shut down before he can plant this bomb in the end. Now Lakey, Infuse, and Suji are all up against Dread. Lonely Dread by himself. Dread, can he make it happen? He's getting shots out, but it's very, very grim. And uh, he's going to be dreading this one. Yes, I just went there. I don't know why, but I, I was, did. And... If if you didn't go there, I was going to go there, and uh, oh, we know it had to happen, and there we go, a knife comes in, Dread picks up that knife, now it makes it a 2v1, and he can move a little bit more freely around the map rather than waiting for them to push him as the defuse is necessary. There's only 30 seconds left, is he going to go straight in for it, is he going to wait for a pick here as he does go in, is he going to hide inside the body? He's looking for a the smart ball. play to do, he's just going to stand up. Probably not the best to go when trying to get that ninja defuse. Uh, I'd probably go with the prone. Uh, yeah, I think I would have as well, but I, I do think he was hoping the body was in, uh, the, the bomb was in the dead body, because that could have provided him with a little bit of color. But as you can see from that round in the kill game, we really just didn't have any much chance of of really going for that one. I mean, they, they tried, they tried, they tried, but they're down 2-0 to zero now. They're back on the attack, and... I'm going to be jumping aboard with the bomb carry just simply because of the fact that he's on the donut. Yeah, we will do that. And uh, see if we can get off the donut. His teammates all on breadsticks as well, so you can't uh, can't ignore the uh, little food party that's going on on their team at the moment. We'll uh, we'll see what he can do. Vert just waiting on uh, to push onto this bomb, and there we go. He gets taken down as well. So does Flying, and now it's up to TKO and Dread. In a 2v4 situation, TKO almost getting taken out there, just getting tagged up as more shots go in. And the uh, 1v3 situation here will make that it was a 1v4 as uh, Dread did pick up one kill, but he gets taken down. Only player to get off the uh, off the breadstick or off the off the food for this game, and uh, just his team getting smashed. Yeah, uh, I don't think they're really having the best of games. Then I did miss most of the action in that one. Every player I jumped aboard didn't really want to do much. But that is okay, because now we're going to jump on board with Lakey. He's going 4-0 and zero with one plant, so he's going to be doing something uh, right for himself. Foshi will pick up the bomb once again, and so far, as you mentioned, they really are just literally just getting dominated here on this search and destroy, and uh, they, they really got to pick something up. Fly does, you know, does go to a great start, taking out the kill, and he instantly backtracks out. He knows he doesn't want to risk going for that contest in case there was a second player there, but he's going to be eyeing it down and trying to see if he can uh, maybe make that make something happen for himself. Infuse also falls as well, so this could be the start of one round for our Sway. Who knows? The player's now going to be running underground. Would it be cut timing at its finest? We might see them. Yeah, shots out. Oh, goes for no. the knife. Lakey, unfortunate there for him. Now it's going to be Tuju last up for his team as he enters into red. Well, he's got a 1v4 in front of him. He pulls it off. Then uh, Sway are pretty much dead and buried as we see the first kill go out there for Tujo. He's just rotating back around. There should be a player to his left. Does he see him? He goes for the knife. <laughs> Does revert and uh, almost getting turned on, but just uh, avoiding that one. Nice little, uh, nice little knife in the side. And uh, I'm Bit not sure. Knife. Yeah, it was, and I'm not, I'm not sure you can be that cocky when you three rounds to zero down. Now it's 3-1, so I guess that leaves a little bit of room for uh, something to happen. Who knows? Who knows? Really what goes in the mind of quality players. A little bit of FPS lag there 
on our screens as we're going to jump on board with Fly-In. Once again, to see if he can back it up this time around. And he's going to be going out. He's going to stun one now. Is he going to go straight for the contest? Yes, he will. Perfect timing there after that stun. Now the nade's going to go out. Will it take out the second player? No, the player's on the other side of Bricks there. As you're going to be seeing them uh, also drop TK. So a 3v3 situation as Sway just needs to look directly down. If he'll be able to see him, he won't, of course, have that range. But he just needs to be looking in that general area. Now one player's going to be at the front of Red there as well. One's going to enter through the back. So it's going to be a tricky spot for him. He's going to get the shots out. Will he pick up the kill? He's a little bit of shaky shots. A lot of shaky shots. He's going to get shot in the back and he realizes too late now. It's Dread and Infuse in a 1v1 situation as all the other players in the game did drop. They're about to run into each other once again. They see each other, but no, oh Infuse my. spots him out. Dread just... I, I don't think he got a shot. He missed... I was on Dread's screen and uh, I'm not sure if you were, but... I wasn't. He just, he just missed everything. He, I'm not sure. Infuse came around that corner, all guns blazing, and picked up that kill. 4-1. Becomes a score, and it just looks like the team of Relapse you know, their game here in the search and destroy and sway struggling a bit still vert and tko on that breadstick they need to pick up their game and try and get a couple more rounds on the board if they can get two rounds in a row here then they're they're right back into it and that might help with the girl coming out of fly in vert getting the knife and now it's up to infuse he goes down before i can even swap to him and uh that's, that's what they needed. They needed something to happen, and uh, a collateral might just be that. I spent that entire round spamming my right bumper to try and swap players, and I was stuck on the de the one player on defense that was sitting all the way back. Let's see Not if idea. my controller works. Not there idea. we go. I can swap players. That's a great start to this round, so I do apologize for missing that uh, that round and that action. But, to make up for it, we're going to jump aboard with the Bomb Carry, who's going to be going over to containers. That is going to be Vert, of course. We'll see if any other players are going to be pushing up as well. We actually do have Sway over on the other ground. It will get taken down. You're going to have Fly taken down as well, as you're going to be having Sway, uh, uh, sorry, Vert for the Sway team under Fly. is about to run into one. Trust the knife. Misses it, and we'll get taken down. Now, Dread. He, is, he seems to be really li either liking these 1v3, 1v4 situations or his team just really want to give it to him. Yeah, they. Uh, he seems to be always the one that just sits back. He does play with that AR, so obviously he's going to be the one that sits back and tries to pick off the kills, but his teammates can't allow him to be trying to take on a 1v4 situation or 1v3 all the time. They've got to just keep up. doesn't matter whether they're getting up the early kills. They've just got to wait it out and try and force around long because at the moment, every round that ends quickly, they are getting slaughtered. And we'll see whether the team relapse. They can close this one out. Lakey 2G, he's got the scope. Let's see what he can do as he tries to take a shot. And unfortunately, just missing that one. Flying, already going down. That's a 3v3 now. Make that a 2v3 Infuse and Lakey versus Dread and Vert as Infuse will pick up a kill. They're on TKO. Lakey still pushing up. Just checking that red train side. There is a player over near that A-bomb. And there is just one flanking around the other side near white. Lakey should be able to see him. I'm not sure if he Ooh. did look up top. He didn't. Cod timing at its finest. Infuse able to pick up that kill nicely. And now it's all up to Dread. And yet again, he's in a clutch situation. He's picked up one. Can he pick up the second? I mean, he wants it. I mean, he really, really wants it after all the situations and the moments that he's had. The player below him there is, is going to be chasing up through Furnaceware. Uh, Dread needs to turn around. The player is chasing him. And I'm not too sure if you see him, but I still don't know if he's easy. Did he not oh, see no. him? No, he Surely didn't see the legs. He did not see the legs. But I believe he had, like his teammates might have spotted him when they were watching his screen. But all oh, the door! Oh. The vector over the Remington. Just... Well, That's close, it. close range Vex always yeah. gonna win that fight, yeah. but so close. But Jeez, it, it did seem like so... Lakey didn't spot him either, and, you, and you, you, you just noticed him. He went outside. He was he just couldn't see him, and then his teammates must have called him out saying you spotted him. And he checked back, and uh, you know he took that one out. Yeah, I'm surprised because Dread obviously last on his team, so all his teammates would have been spectating him. Yeah. Surely one of those none four of would have seen those legs, but none of them just reacting at all. Quite unfortunate, really, for them. Yeah, a bit of a surprise, and uh, that'll be one one, one, uh, one one in the map count. And we'll be going on to a Blitz up next, and that should be an extremely good matchup. Well, Last Blitz we saw, obviously, uh, close, to say the least. And uh, hopefully uh, hopefully this one is not quite as close, but <laughs> almost almost the same. Hopefully, I mean, Blitz Octane, we have seen 
some of our best blitz games in the Astro circuit on Octane. I mean, I believe once again we casted this one together. It was a uh, you know a seventy two collective cap total. I believe it was. I think it was about that. I think it was forty two to thirty one. So it would have been seventy three. Yeah. Total cap, but that's just a ridiculous number. Like you, you score thirty one caps. Probably be expecting to win, but not on that day. Yeah, not really, on that really day. Not on that day, and uh, that is okay though because it does seem like every one of these players seemingly want. You can't see the actual main menu at the moment, but we have all but three players in a ten-player lobby on broadcast mode. Make, make that eight. eight. Make that oh, nine. A lot, a lot, a lot of up-and-coming casters. Yeah, I've really, a lot of up-and-coming casters. See Let's see if the last one will do it. Let's see. If, Come on, Vert. Come on. Surely. You, you Surely he jumps you in. You want to do it. Doesn't I'll tell really, you what. Doesn't really uh, want to happen, does it? That's, oh, uh, no, there we go. There, there we, we go. go. Whole that's lobby of casters. See. It's all right. That is what we want to see. But uh, also on that point with uh, needing admins, well, I'm sure that uh, anyone interesting in casting definitely get on to that staff application, put in the casters app, and... Uh, have a talk to Mikester because we're always looking for new people to uh, jump on board and give casting a go because uh, at the moment there's uh, there's not too many of us and uh, the more the merrier, I guess, with uh, with t uh, terms to that role. But we're going to go into Blitz on Octane and uh, this should be an extremely good match. It, it hopefully will be. I mean, you're going to be seeing that load up on your screens. Two five-minute rounds with the team swapping sides at the end of five minutes after each point capture. There's a 10-second countdown period, five-second respawn timer, and if the score is tied, as we've already seen throughout the night, it will go to a repeat until a winner is determined. And as you can see, we last time around, we played 26 minutes of Blitz. Just a ridiculous number. I was just... 26 minutes of Blitz is just too long. Too long on one map. For, uh, for those two teams, and uh, that, that match ended under unfortunate circumstances. Hopefully this game can be uh, very, very close and very high scoring. A lot of action going to go on on this one, and we'll see what uh, whoa, who are we going to jump on board with first because it just looks like a lot of players going with those Vectors or MTARs and only one player from each team with the Remington, which is an interesting choice. For Octane. It really is. The map's going to be loading on up. We'll jump on with Floshy up first. And it's only pushing over into Pawn. Yeah, you're going to be seeing, uh, you know, him just dying it up. Oracle mode on there as well. One player's going to be contesting and just straight away a Four team down. down. Now, they lost the respawn by one point. They won the SD convincingly, and I don't think they're going to drop anything else. Bad spawn there for Sway as well. All spawning back strip. And it looks like Floshy is going to put the pressure on as he does pick up one, can't pick up a second. Lakey just trying to get those crosses. Unfortunately, couldn't see anyone. Infused getting taken down as well. And we said before in the uh, Nico game that in the domination, they weren't able to take uh, full advantage when they got a four down. And they lost the map because of it, really. And that is just a perfect opportunity to run through three or four relays. When you get a four down like that, trap a team over near Strip. But only getting one cap out of it and now allowing the other team to run through a cap of their own. It's just uh, it's just not the way you want to start a game when you get uh, a four down straight off the bat. We got uh, Lakey, five and zero so far. I've, he's got one bullet left, so I'm interested to see if he can make something happen. It doesn't really seem like he wants to be using it just yet. He's about to run into one and he's going to get shot in the back, so that's a little bit of a bummer there for him. We'll jump board with the Sway team. you got uh, one player running in for a cap. That is a Vert who manages to cover the spike knife, you swap on over to him as Flynn will take down a kill. Same with Dread. Now they wanted to push on up, they have the lead here. And uh, you know, for Octane, we've only seen three caps so far in nearly two minutes. It's a little bit surprising, but uh, both players, or both teams rather, are doing a very good job over on defense. Players are getting close, but not all the caps are going through. Low scoring game in turn. Straight off the bat. There's another one coming in. Cut, cut him off. 
Seems like we do have a little bit of an issue there with uh, with Lockdog and the TeamSpeak server. Try and get that resolved as soon as we can. But uh, in the meantime, we'll jump aboard with the man of birth there. As you'll be seeing him uh, just push on down. Of course, he will get taken as you have TKO now. Trying to make uh, make some plays and he'll be able to pick off one kill. So back on over to Lakey as he'll push it down through Mechanic. And you're going to be seeing uh, one player going to be over on the mid-side through there with the minimap. Uh, he's going to get naded heavily as well. He's going to stay alive and he's going to pick off flying in the process. Dread will also fall. And you're going to be seeing them still just... Just trying to play a little bit of this defensive angle because players are still pushing now that they've got that team down and the refresh of the spawns they are trying likely to just push on up collectively as a team and then try to make that play over onto the uh, the capture zone and you're gonna have Lakey run past the one but the second one was a little bit more clever turns around and took him straight down as if he was just trying to run it past oh, him he does what? and he'll be able to go for the cap and take the lead here no, in this map I don't think that's is that allowed is that I think really it is allowed? <laughs> He's no, just run straight through the middle of the map, just taking a whole heap of bullets and just ramboed it through for the capture, and 4-4 becomes the score. And uh, both teams really wanting those caps as Infuse slides through for yet another one, and this is the type of game we usually see on Octane. It's turning into a bit of a cap fest at the moment. 5-5 becomes a score as yet another capture goes through Infuse. He is just running through caps uncontested at the moment. As there is one player rotating around, if he can pick up this kill, he doesn't even need to. His teammate will do it for him. And he can just uh, run through caps all day. Both teams, just uh, some nice rotations and just uh, some beautiful relays. Some some nice caps here and kills for Infuse. I haven't left his screen so far. 7-7, seven, seven, though, is the scoreline here as Infuse does drop. I'm going to really stop giving compliments out to these players. Otherwise, they will die. 8-7, to seven, though, one cap lead to... Uh, to you know, to the team of Relapse, and that's going to be actually tied back up here. So uh, Sway managed to get a cap in for themselves. You got two, he wanted to push on up, but he didn't look over to the Humvee, unfortunately. And he did get taken down. Lakey will pick up the kill. He's going to end up getting shot out from the blue. The dump there is uh, uh, flying from the team of Sway. We'll be able to actually pick off that kill. You're going to be seeing Lakey still over on the uh, beat dog container as he'll pick off one more kill. He's just really just picking off the slang roll here and... Uh, that he will get taken down. You're going to be seeing Tuju, though, push up down. He's in a position to try and run a cab in, but he will get taken down. Foshi, 15 seconds left. Is really There's only two players in the game so far that can make this play happen. He's one of them. You also do have Vert, though. He runs on in for this cap. Can Foshi even things up? He's going to try to, but he won't be able to. Yeah, he gets taken down, and all the players not in a position to capture. So it will be 9-8, and it will be in favour of the team of Sway. Uh, a very, very close uh, first half, as predicted here. One point separating the teams, and uh, this one really could go either way. 9-8, so high scoring compared to what we've seen on Warhawk earlier on. On the One of those games, it, it's obviously there'll be a lot of attacking, but I think it'll be the team that defends better that is going to be able to take this one out. I am... Yeah, I, I really think that is going to be the case. But, you know, starting off with this one, I want to jump aboard with Vert. We'll see how he goes. He's going to push on. Yeah, yep, he's dead. Yeah, just uh, Castle's Curse coming in nicely there. And uh, Red pushing around. It looks like he's going to go for this relay here uh, for Sway. As he's just waiting on. There's a player coming around the back. But he doesn't really worry about him too much. He's going to slide through for that capture. And still a one-point difference as both teams go in for those relays. And... As I was saying, I just think uh, both teams being able to attack fairly easily and get these captures in, it's the team that defends their capture point the best that's going to be able to take out this uh, uh, second half. And at the moment, just, just a little bit of lag going on for me. Sure, I'm not sure if that's everyone in the game, but uh, just, just a bit of a slow play here as uh, three players from the team of Relapse go down. We do have on your screens Tuju. Wanted to push on down there. There's one player watching him like a hawk, and unfortunately, two players turned into to, to that kill, and they took him down. You're going to be seeing Sway that they wanted to go for these caps, and they're playing you know, a lot more of that aggressive game, whereas Relapse, I mean, it's Blitz and Octane. It is the final map here. We could possibly still see a tie, but they're getting that close, and they're getting these caps, but it's all about being able to re re uh, regain that defensive control and that consistency, which you mentioned earlier. I mean, if you can play both roles successfully and, and hold out the longest, that will be the team winning the 
Yeah, they will. And uh, 11 to 12 still, that one point difference. 13 to 11 there. Finally, the team of Sway able to pull out to a two capture lead and just uh, get the buffer that they need to try and uh, continue to pile on these points that they are doing, as we'll see. The, uh, the teammate, he tried to go in for that capture. He got shut down. A player from the team of Relapse was able to go through, fly in, able to slide in for this cap nicely. And if the relays keep going like this, but fly in, he'll get taken down. The relay almost went through, but his teammate was able to stop that one there. 13 to 14 is the score. And Fuse able to pick up a kill. He can't pick up the second, though, there near Hotel as Foshy just spawning over the back strip. So they're going to go straight for this capture point and try and get some relays in as they are that one point behind Foshy going to go up top his teammate Tuju going to slide straight in for that capture nicely there and Foshy he's going to set up for this relay as he did pick up that kill and now he's in a perfect position no one there to contest him and that'll be an easy as you like cap for the team of relapse and both teams just uh, circling around the others capture point waiting for these relays to go and neither team defending too hard and I think that uh, just shows the point that the team that defends the best is going to win on maps where it's high scoring. Yeah, I mean, you got Fly now rotating around. He said just actually, no, his teammate pushed on back the call. That's what happened, so he didn't leave his position. But they, they're still going for these Catholic caps, and you know, you called it, you hit it right on the head there with that, with that defensive ground. They, they need to make sure they get that down packed for themselves. You have the players pushing on up regardless, and uh, that is going to be Foshi, who did get denied there of the cap point, but Infuse is there to get that cap on in. So it's 19 to 18 still. Sway still have the one point lead, and uh, it relapsed really just don't seem like they're going to be stopping them over on this uh, defensive mark just yet. They, they picked off the kill, but, I mean, it, it was just late. There was no surf. It was just trying to rush in, but a nice job there from Foshi to get that double kill and, and deny them just for a couple of seconds longer. That being said, they have no players left on the attack line. Yeah, they've finally been able to get that defense happening, but it was at the detriment to their relay still going in, and there's a player that's going to be able to go through for a capture there for the team of Relapse, but unfortunately Dread was able to go through for a cap of his own. Two caps of difference, 52 seconds left in this one, so they really got to stop the team of Sway from pushing anymore. There's a three down now. It's up to Dread. They've all pushed past. He's going to go through for a cap, make it a three-point difference, and now he's going to spawn on the capture point with his team, and it's going to be very, very hard for the team of Relapse to go through and get these caps, but they got a three down again. they got to capture through, and now they're setting up for these relays as Foshi does throw out the smoke as he's going to have to rotate back around. There's a couple watching it. He does see Ooh. him there. Is he going to go for the kill? He won't. He will get taken down. Tuju picks up one. Can't oh. see the second. He does get the kill through the smoke. Is his teammate there to get the capture? It is infused. He sees him there. He gets the kill. Gets the cap. Ten seconds left. One capture the difference. They need to just go straight in for this capture. But it looks like there's a player there sliding in for the capture. There we go. Sway pick up the map. 23 to 21. Oof. And they're going to take a 2-1 there in that series. That uh, really wasn't what I was thinking was going to happen in those last 30 seconds. I honestly was thinking it was going to go to another tie. And it nearly was the case. It was two caps the difference there in the end. 2-1 to one, though for Sway as they take down relapse taking out both the uh, the respawn game types here they'll go on into the grand final where they will play the uh, the winner as I check that quickly of Citadel AU and XGN black now that game I believe has just started of course this side of the bracket was a lot quicker done so we'll try to jump on board with their game I believe they have started the domination already but we'll try jump on board with the SD onwards we'll see how we go and then of course the winner will play of that game, will play Sway, the loser will play Relapse in that third place tie. Regardless, we're down to our final possibly game or games, depending on how, you know, which game we are able to jump on into in this midweek number one for season six of the Astro Circuit. Stay tuned because we've got more action coming up next.